I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. We've all heard that before. People often have their minds made up in advance about the kind of art they like and don't like. And that old saying about beauty is in the eye of the beholder often translates into the notion that, well, since everyone has their own likes and dislikes, there's no sense trying to educate anyone about art. But that turns out not to be true. Do you still like the same music and books and movies you did as a teenager? Our tastes change all the time. We grow and mature, so do our likes and dislikes. And with a little bit of help, we can learn how to look at a work of art so that we actually see more in a work of art than we ever knew was there. For example, we can learn to recognize artistic form, how the parts work together to elevate a simple subject into a universal theme. It's not always easy to understand art. Modern art in particular can be baffling, but you might be amazed at how quickly you can learn what to look for. What are some of the emotions we might feel while looking at this painting? Shock at whatever it is that's happening? Pity for the child? Anger at a destructive mechanical society? Before we can understand a work of art, we have to adequately perceive what's actually there. What are some of the objects in this painting? A huge baby's head? with a baby sort of coming out of the mouth, mechanical objects, twisted metal parts, various bits of junk, much of it is unrecognizable. What is the condition of those objects? Abandoned, in disarray, scattered around the baby? Do they therefore constitute the child's environment, the nurturing ground that the child is born and raised in? What about the strange round forms in the upper right corner? Oil refinery tanks, industrial structures of some sort? Perhaps they're the source of this filthy, polluted, industrial wasteland? Which objects have smooth, rounded shapes? Well, the baby, the oil tanks. Which objects have sharp angles? The objects in the foreground. So there's a definite contrast between the smooth, rounded forms of the baby and the straight lines and sharp angles of the junk. But even the rounded shape of the baby is distorted. What does the distorted shape of the baby's face convey to us? Stress, pain, anguish, horror? Can we conclude that distorted natural shapes can convey extreme emotions? If so, obviously we have to be receptive to that fact in order to experience the full effect of the painting. Even if we can't put our finger on the exact emotions we are feeling, if the artist could have put this experience into words, he wouldn't have needed to paint it. We won't all agree on what this painting is all about, but the important takeaway here, I think that we can agree on, is one, responses to art can be very complex and difficult to put into words. And two, we need to learn to look closely at a work of art in order to fully appreciate what it's all about.